You just look at these amazing images. And when you convert them to AI video, they look even better. These include my two favorite AI image and AI video characteristics, unique and hyper-realistic. And today, I'm gonna show you how you'll be able to generate hundreds of unique and hyper-realistic images and videos like these. It's time to go home, but I'm in my zone. I'm a proms gangster, call me Al Capone. People wanna know which way that I go. I'm an AI prom, but I'm never slow. I type, then I go. My words in control, building worlds from the code. Watch the magic. Because like I said, today, I'm going to show you. And to be honest, it all begins with the simplest of prompt. In fact, it's another embarrassingly good, yet incredibly effective prompt that works in exceptional ways. And so today, we're going to first start this process in Gemini. Now, you can use any LLM you want, chat, GPT, etc. But you'll see exactly why I use Gemini, in this case, for a very specific reason. But it all starts with this very simple prompt right here. I'm tired of creating the same AI image prompts. Give me some unique ideas that will blow people's minds. Now, again, that's simple enough, right? But of course, what we're going to do after we get some already unique and impressive prompts, we're then going to take it to the next level and make these even better. But to start, look at this very quickly. These images and videos are crazy good. Now, right away, we can look at what it gave us. Just off the bat, number one, we're going to get the sound of silence, a moment of deja vu, the weight of a secret. I have to tell you, this right now is batting 100%. Every prompt I've been using to generate images has created exceptional levels of realism and high levels of uniqueness. But as I scroll down, you can see all of these crazy good prompts I've been getting. Now, very quickly, let's open up a second chat and do it again in real time just to see if we can get some different variety okay there it is that same very basic yet very effective prompt now again here are the original ones we got the first three we'll go back and forth to see if we do get indeed different ones the second time around and look at that right off the bat yep conceptual juxtaposition fusing the unrelated back over here to our first one you can look at the first three here compared to the first three over here Incredible job. Okay, so the format is a little bit different, but nonetheless, very good prompts. Now, the next thing we'll do is as we scroll down, we can continue looking at what we got earlier. Okay, so number one, we're going to get these abstract concepts. Number two, we're going to get like these different sort of worlds, impossible architecture. I mean, these have been just generating crazy levels of uniqueness. Now, again, keep scrolling, but here is where we begin to really take things up a completely different notch and make these even better if possible okay so here we go it says happy prompting the next thing you want to ask is this look at this provide again but add meta tokens to the prompts aka secret meta tokens for the highest levels of realism now when i did this it provided because i asked it to the same prompts again but this time it actually added an additional portion in the form of those meta tokens you can see it right here we have this kodak portra 400 right here it's time to go home but i'm in my zone but if you wanted to go ahead and start the process over again, you could also do that as well. I would definitely recommend doing it in both ways. First, just getting the prompts by itself and then repopulating it again and add this key phrase at the end. Let's go ahead and open up a new chat and now say this. Paste the same exact thing in again and now comma and now say this. Now you can say something similar, but I just said add secret meta tokens specifically for creating insane levels of realism. So I have three Gemini tags tabs open at the same time. Now, again, when I just did it, same prompt, here it is, where now I'm getting those meta tokens automatically. And now as I scroll down, I get these right here. Shot on Ari Alexa, cinematic still, and amorphic lens flare, amazing job. So doing it both ways really does work. And then here are gonna be our full prompts right here, okay? But that's not even really the best part. Now, when I did this a little bit earlier today, this is where I like to always do one first without the meta prompt. It seems like I get a lot more. Look at all these crazy good ones I get over here. I mean, I can scroll forever and the list goes on and on. But now watch this. Now in Gemini here, I get this awesome glossary of secret meta tokens. And now that's the reason why I'm actually using Gemini today because of that specific option that says export the sheets. 
What I've done is connect my Airtable prompts databases with Google Sheets. That's very easy to do, and it's actually a native integration directly from within Airtable itself. Okay, so moving on, let's get back into the chat. Here's the next thing I'll say. Simple enough, but now I say now more. So what it's basically gonna do is just now give me more and more prompts, incredibly unique. Miniaturize cosmic events. Now again, that's the whole purpose of this prompt because I've been getting tired of the same old same old fashion model, supercar, etc. This is gonna allow me to take things up to a completely new creative notch. Now again, to really drive things home, and last but not least, if you want something specific, Let's just say you want a specific subject. Now just simply say that. And that's exactly what I did. I said this, do it again, a different series of unique prompts with this subject. Now again, the reason why I always use this, specifically a beautiful woman, is because there are gonna be two sets of prompts for AI images to where you can really test and see how good the details look when it comes to realism. When you say a beautiful woman, it usually works pretty well because you don't just get a person. If you say a man, a lot of times you just get a man. With the woman, however, you'll get a lot of different characteristics in one image to really analyze the realistic levels. Makeup, maybe some glitter on her face, accessories, different hairstyles, etc. It's gonna really allow you to look at the fine details. The same can be said for a supercar, but in my opinion, it's not gonna be as good. And now look at this, as I scroll down, here we go. The anthropomorphic personification. Look at these right here. These are incredible. Now, again, one thing I'll notice is that I'm not specifically getting all of the meta tokens in every prompt. I'm getting it in this one right here. In fact, it does look like, however, that the prompts still do look crazy good. Okay, so I'll scroll through a few of these. Now, the one thing that's great about ChatGPT is that it's automatically going to know what I mean. Watch this. So if I come back over here to this other Gemini chat and I copy this original prompt here, if I now open up ChatGPT and paste it in, same thing, I'm tired of creating the same AI images, but at the very end, I made sure to say, add secret meta tokens specifically for creating insane levels of realism. Now, when I do it right away, it's gonna give me everything Gemini did in all of these other chats, but in my opinion, now this could just be because ChatGPT knows me, enough of me by now, and knows I love these realism tokens, but you can see in these specific prompts, it's adding them automatically automatically to every single prompt I'm getting, okay, at the very end. Now, depending on what tool you use, if you use Midjourney and a lot of other AI tools, whatever you have in the very front will hold a lot more weight. So in one of these prompts, if I say dust layered mannequins in the front, the primary focus will be the creation of this. But if I put like Hasselblad X2D first, and then comma dust layered mannequins, it will have more of a focus on giving me an image that emulates this token first. I mean, using this like this anyway will still perform well, but it will be interesting to see the difference in the different ways you format the text, front and rear and vice versa. But right away, look at all these. We're gonna get tons of these. And now the other cool thing, secret realism meta tokens bank. Sprinkle two or three of these across any prompt to supercharge physical accuracy. Wow, so that's even better. Use two of these at the same time. And then again, in chat GPT, it does ask if you get this, would you like me to turn this into a reusable Metaprompt generator? Yes, Metaprompt generator, please. Now, we'll make that magic happen. And now this way, I have a prompt generator to use over and over again simply by just replacing the subject, and now we can use it over and over again. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What sort of images were you able to generate? And again, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car, your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules, channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and